Welcome to the Kill Count, where we tell you victims in all the movies. I'm Magic True Animates, and today we are looking at The Hills of Eyes Part 2, released in 1986. The Hills of Eyes Part 2 is, well, a sequel to The Hills of Eyes, which I think is a fine film. Yeah, this sequel follows, again, a group of people that traveling through the desert with our mutants. Yeah! I, this is definitely the worst of the five films. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Four films. I'm not counting part three. That is a mess. However, I do think this does have its advantages. For starters, I do think that the mutants are still as scary as always, and I think the char our main characters have a bit of light on them. They're definitely not as memorable as the first film, but I think they have their times. You know, it also has a whole bunch of kills, so let's get to them! <laughs> Where to go, boy? Part 2, which is fun, yeah. Just put the, uh, I'm just gonna put the pie chart up there. I don't know if I'll do a gender breakdown, yeah. Jay Jaflin for coolest kill can honestly go to Hulk because it caught me a little off guard. Daddy Piranha for lamest kill can go to Foster. Yeah, they kill a kid, but it's off screen. Yeah, that's it. The Hills of Eyes Part 2 came out in 1986 and definitely was a fun film. The remakes are also good, and I'll look at those, but until then, I'm Max Granimates, this has been The Kill Count. What? Why are you still here? Go! Go!